What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I literally just got back from work a little while ago and I'm not even that tired to be honest. But what is it what I want to tell you guys is um there's one of the students there um and you know he's very ambitious and he actually really wants to start up his own clothing line and uh we was talking about how you know he can actually get help and start up his own thing. And we came across an idea of uh, filming a documentary on him and where he come up with this idea and I mean he's got a really good message on the t-shirts he's printing, he's printed a few and um, they're very inspirational I must say so I mean to support that and to help him and obviously the rest of the class could get involved will be you know a big step I had forgotten to take my vlog camera with me so and then I went out again and I forgot to take my SD card so I need to step up <laughs> Uh oh, retard alert! Retard alert class! I'm just sitting in my room, chilling. Don't mind the purple um, bed covers. My mum does it. She just puts random. We'd, we'd go out and she'd be like, she'd look at the most girliest one with flowers and stuff, and she'd be like, oh, a salon. These are nice. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, just give me a black charcoal or. A green or something or like a khaki green or like no she picks out all the girly ones I mean even my curtains are creamy and they've got flowers on it so let me show you guys something actually um yeah these are you can see properly these are my medals and trophies I've won over the years and majority of them of them are from football so that's something you guys know now I'm a bit of a sports guy and um, yeah I used to I used to play football for a team well, I still do play football but I used to play for a team and I used to be a goalkeeper so like in primary school when I was in year four I used to be the best keeper in the whole school and I was like the year six team keeper um, I had no clue of how to play football um, I was just a good keeper but then after that I joined a, a Sunday league team and I was a keeper for a while then I became a right back so I was uh, defending and I was crazy like I used to go up against like big black men and um, I used to just literally dive in like I had no care in the world and then I stopped I think and then did a bit of gym gymnastics um, so I learned how to do like I knew how to do backflips and stuff like that but um, it was nice to go if you guys ever get a chance if you live in uh, London if you ever get a chance go to uh, Beckton Gymnasium it's really cool they got foam pits and stuff you can just run and dive in it's really fun they got trampolines and um, what's that floor called the bouncy floor yeah one of them things um, yeah so that um, but now I've kind of stopped playing football. Now I do uh, Muay Thai and MMA. I've always liked, I've always enjoyed that. And I did that for about two and a half years. Then I'd stop because I had an eye surgery in both eyes. It wasn't laser eye surgery, most people ask me that. It was actually, um, I had some things growing in my eyes on both sides. And then every time I'd uh, fight or spar, and then I'd get hit in the face and the gloves would irritate my uh, well it would irritate my eyes then I'd itch it and then it just got even worse so I had surgery on one eye and then I needed time to recover and then I had to have surgery in the other eye and then I need time to recover for that and then by then it was time it was the fasting there was a month of Ramadan it was a fasting month I just literally fell straight off but now I'm back at it I have this protein where is this? This protein uh, anabolic matrix protein shake to finish, and literally I just started. So it's good fun, good fun. I'll probably bring you to training. I might bring you to date. Depends if I can find my tripod, the gorilla tripod, so I can actually stand the um, camera on the side, and then I can show you a few of my workouts. But apart from that, um, at the moment, I'll probably be heading out to go get some food in a bit. Don't worry guys, I'm not eating McDonald's or anything. Well, I mean, it, it's kind of fat, but I'm having chicken dinner. So hopefully, you know, it's 
good food. It's, it's, it's fat. I need to put on a bit of weight. So, yeah. I'll catch you guys in a bit. It's morning. It's quite early at the moment. And I just got back from uh, morning Eid prayer. Yeah, to all you guys out there who are celebrating Eid, Eid Mubarak has probably been posted a few days after that. So, uh, yesterday I wasn't able to go to the gym. Um, because it was Eid today, the next day, so I had quite a lot of family over, so we just stayed at home and just sort of, you know, chilled. Um, but yeah, now I'm just going to make my way home. I'm not sure what I've got planned today, but I know my mum's going to be cooking some nice food. So, uh, we'll have to see. Um, I do want to go out and chill with my mates and stuff. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. But, and again, to all you guys celebrating, happy Eid. And for those of you guys who don't know, Eid comes twice a year. The first one is for when, um, when we fast for 30 days for the whole month. And then we celebrate that with the Eid at the end. And the second one is for uh, Hajj. So there's five pillars in Islam. And one of them is Hajj, and to celebrate that, there's another Eid. And on that we do a uh, something called Qurbani, and that's a sacrifice of an animal. Uh, the animal being a uh, cow, a buffalo, sheep, lamb, things that we eat anyway. And uh, we just sacrifice that. I mean, there's a, uh, it's a good story behind that. And um, hopefully I'll share it with you guys one day, but... Right now, I need to get home to have some nice, yummy breakfast my mum made. So guys, basically, <clears throat> um, the camera I have is not, it's not the best of cameras. It's good though, but I'd like a better one. So, uh, I don't know if you guys are aware of the shop called CEX, uh, which you can uh, buy, sell and trade um, games, consoles, um, cameras, phones, stuff like that. So I went in there with my camera, bearing in mind I bought this camera about a week ago. Cue music. Right, um, uh, so literally, yeah, I literally bought it a week ago. And I went in there and they gave me a, a value for my, for, for the camera. It's got no scratches, nothing's wrong with it. It's just I want a better camera. And, um... We, I bought it from Curry's and with stuff like this, you can't really go back and return it unless there's a manufacturer problem. So they valued my camera, it's a Canon IX-US 160 at £23. Like, are you serious? You want to buy my camera off me for £23? Like, it's not even a fourth of what I paid. Oh, these people are so funny. And they'll, they'll sell it off for about 80, 90, 80, 70, 80 quid. It's ridiculous what they're doing. I'm not sure if you guys would enjoy it or not, but um, I could do a few gaming videos. I could do a few challenges. Um, there are, um, I could go out in public and do stuff. I mean, if you guys, if that's what you want, I mean, I'll do a few, I'll do a few of each and uh, whichever one you guys enjoy, I'll just probably continue doing it or continue the whole thing. And then it should be good, it should be good fun. Remember I was I mentioned um, going to a, a music video in my first vlog? Yeah, that music video already happened and um, I couldn't actually make it. But the YouTuber's name was KSI and uh, he, was, uh, it, he was, he made a song with Jamie, which is uh, I believe Skepta's younger brother, I think. And um, yeah, that, that, would have been good but i couldn't make it so it's quite sad all right guys i'm gonna wrap up my vlog here hope to see you guys soon on on saturday i've got a big surprise it's not big but it's big for my brother because i'm surprising him i'll catch you guys on my next vlog make sure you like subscribe and share and peace out <laughs>